All right, guys. So let's first of all set up some um, some stuff. So quickly, just going to create that object again. Right. So hero idle physics. Yeah, for some reason I had a little error before, so I had to set up these objects. Object hero. Uh, create the basic room again. Yep, there we go. 60 FPS. Oh yeah, I'm just going to create that object floor as well. Sweet, there we go. Right, so let me just quickly link these up. Control slash slash. See, it's the good thing about using physics as well is that it literally just sets up all the collisions for you. You don't need to program them in. It literally, just comes with the package. Right, there we go. So it's pretty much exactly as we had it before. So save that. Just going to change the room name to room. Click OK. Right, so we were going to set up some code, weren't we? So let's just go into the hero. Just add that collision. I don't know why it's loading so slow. Right, slash slash. Right, so let's set up some variables first. So if we go into the character and just set it and go player health equals zero. Player attack equals zero. Player speed equals zero. And um, player, you could actually set up stats like, you know, if you're into your MMOs, you could have player attack speed, you know, player dodge. But for now, we're just going to set up a very basic game. So, player, I don't know, jump equals zero right oh yeah and then what we need to do is enter enter but moving left equals zero moving right equals zero press ok and then press add event right so left button actually delete that and we want to make these into global variables so global dot moving left global dot moving right <coughs> and when you set a global variable it just means basically that the player can be affected well it means the variable can be affected by other objects that's not inside this variable this object shouldn't make these tutorials when I've had a drink but ah well we persevere right so click OK right so we've got the basic variables in there now so because we're doing an Android game it's gonna be an on-screen display that moves you so I'm just gonna move these click objects and I'm just gonna move these out the way for now and then we want to go into sprites, create a sprite, um, edit sprite, new, and then just make it 100 by 100. Yeah, so it's basically like a little, you know, button. So then we want to just create a simple, you know, obviously if you're making a proper game, you do this all in Photoshop and stuff. But for our purposes, you get the idea. Right, and then we'll put this as L, and then go to, it's a bit small, so let's change that, rub that out. Right, where's the font options? There we go. Right, so change this to about, yeah, 26, bold, maybe 36, yeah. 
that's better. Put L in there like that. And then just put spray underscore left. Left button. And this is basically going to be our on screen display. So you can click left and right. So if we duplicate that again and put spray underscore right button, edit sprite. And again, just rub that out. <laughs> That's my look in it. It's running really slow. I think my system's got having problems today. Well, it doesn't help that it's been on all day. Right, and then we put right. And then that's basically your left and right button. Just okay that. And put yeah, sprite right button, that's fine. Save it. Right, and then we create an object. So this is the object that we're gonna be clicking on. So we put sprite and put object left. Object left button actually. Object left button. Now this doesn't use physics, so just make sure you don't click that, right? Then Duplicate that. Object right button. Change that to the right one. And then we save that. Now we put them into the game. Obviously, you know, you make it look a lot better if you're making an actual game. But this is just to show you how it's done basically I'm going to spread these out a bit so when you I've got fat fingers so if I press L and right I like them to have a little bit of a space between them basically so if we quickly play that we'll just see what it looks like right our character still looks like he's on acid so we need to change that so we double click on him Delete that. Step event. Image speed equals 0 0.2. That'll do for now. Right, so save that. So click on object left button. Add an event. On mouse left button. Now when you put object left button, like mouse left button, it's the same as using your finger on the Android screen. So just think of it like that. So then if we put um, global dot move left, was that the up was that what we done? Global dot moving left. Right, so copy that, and then go into object right button, and then we just basically switch them around, so zero, one. Right, sweet, so now if we go into the object player, Uh, in the step event and do if global dot moving left equals one and then copy that change that to moving right now you could put an else you could put else if and then else but for now just put if global dot moving left 
and then global dot moving equals zero. So actually, just to make sure we get this right, put and global dot moving equals one equals zero, sorry, and then copy that. And this would be moving left equals zero. So it's just basically saying that if it's moving left and not right, we move moving right and not left. And then this is saying if you're not moving left or right, you're basically in st you're standing still. So save that. So for this, if global dot moving left sprite index equals sprit underscore move uh, hero run. Copy that and put that into there. And then we want to do image underscore x scale equals minus one. That basically just says rotate the image, like mirror the image, so it's back to front on the x axis. And then that one, we put it as one, which means normal direction. So let's just see what happens when we do this for now. See if there's any errors and things like that. Oh, yeah. Right, so save. Right, sorry about that guys. What I forgot to do was set the physics in the room. And another thing that I cocked up on a little bit is that these are back to front. So this should be minus one and one. So if we just click play. For now, it won't apply anything. It'll just basically, you know, do that like that. So we want to put some like movement in. So let's give him a bit of a floor to run on. So what I'm going to do is just pull, uh, scale the X by about two. Um, so let's play that. So as you can see, it's just. He's got a bit more space to run on now. So, go into your hero, step event. Just put an enter and then put physics apply underscore force. And then put x, y, and then put 200. And then put zero. This basically just says that you're going to be applying a force at 200 on the x-axis. If it was here, it'd be the y-axis, so it'd be up and down. Here, it's left and right, so if I put a minus, it'd run the opposite way. So, just copy that, paste that in, and then put minus here. Now, I might have them cocked round, but we'll check that out. Let's have a look. So, just right. Yeah, I knew I would. Right, so we've got them... Right, so minus is so it's the same as the index basically, just make sure that's the right. Well, let's try it. So, as you can see, he runs now on the axis, but you'll notice that he's actually ice skating like he's on Strictly Come Dancing or something like that. So, what we want to do is we want to stop that, we want him to run like he's on a floor. Unless you want him to run like that, if you're doing an ice level, obviously, there you go, there's your ice level sorted. So for now, just change it to 0 0.5 friction and put the linear dampen up to about three. And this should make it a bit tar-like, basically. Let's try it. As you can see, uh, yeah, really slow. So let's up it a little bit. So we put the step event and go to this and we put a force. So basically speed is just a force. So put it up to, we double it basically, so if we double it to 400 and as you can see, he basically just it'll keep applying that force because we don't set anything to stop the variable so at the moment when we click right or left it changes the variable to right and then 
it'll constantly apply this force because it's saying when this is one apply this force so what we want to do is we want to go to these objects go to add an event mouse left released and then go into put a code and put global dot moving left equals zero and basically when you take your hand off it'll stop it'll basically stop the force so click OK go into the right button and do exactly the same but for the opposite one so mouse left released and just change this to right so now he'll basically stop but there's no animation so let me just quickly go into this and we'll test it oh, actually it's not too bad it, it works I, I was expecting something else so yeah that's fine so there we go we've got you know the basic left and right so what we want to do now I'm going to go into another video for the next one is for jumping and pickups so we'll do that in the next video but that's pretty much the basics for now for the Android so yeah, I'll speak to you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.